time for the uh, we are going to learn about the basics in orthopedic radiology today so i will be covering uh, how to read the basic x ray then we will go on to discuss some interesting cases and then uh, we will go into the basics of reading an mri mainly a knee and a shoulder mri so to read an x ray you if you have to read an x ray you have to have a system so that you don't miss things so i would say for beginners you should start with abcs so a is adequacy is the x ray adequate is it showing what you want to see is uh, the x ray showing proper alignment of the bones or the bones are out of alignment b is for bones yeah c is for cartilage so you, you can see uh, dr parija can we mute the others please so c is for cartilage and s is for soft tissue so x rays usually will show you bones but definitely you can uh, get some very important clues by seeing the soft tissue shadows which we will discuss further so you should look at the abcs x ray should have adequate number of views so minimum of two uh, two views are important uh, because you may miss important information if you only have a view and you should never comment or plan any surgery or any treatment based on only one view three views are welcome if you have more information then it's welcome and you should also uh, look for a joint above and below so for example if you have a femur fracture you should try to see the hip joint as well as the knee joint because some injuries are such that you know the uh, the forces are transmitted to the joints above and below and you may miss major injuries so all x rays should have adequate penetration so this is something your technician will do while taking an x ray if it is an under penetrated film you will have a very wide sort of image which is not good and if it is a over penetrated film then you will have a very black sort of an x ray so both are not good and you may miss important information and you should try to uh, train your technician or tell them that we need an adequate film so this is a rule of two you have you uh, two views are important usually ap and lateral view if you look at the foot then lateral view won't show much because there will be overlap of bones so it is oblique view in that case we should look at two joints above and below and you should repeat x rays occasionally suppose you are treating a fracture with a plaster then you should repeat x rays over a week or so so that you see that the fracture is not displaced and sometimes in children mainly you try to compare with the normal side so this image is at uh, showing why two views are important you may miss adequate information or you may you know mistake some information so this uh, x ray is showing that there is reduction in joint space so this happens in arthritis usually arthritis can be many types but if you are seeing osteophytes and concentric joint space reduction in small joints then it is usually osteoarthritis widening of joint space signifies that there may be a ligament injury or a fracture or there may also be some fluid collection which is called a fusion which may increase the joint space soft tissues again give an important information so in this case you can see that there is a subtle sign here uh, on the anterior side as well as on the posterior side so the bones per se are looking normal this is an x ray of a child because you can see a growth plate which is open but the anterior uh, fat pad and the posterior fat pad are increased in size that means there is some bleeding and there may be a subtle fracture which you may not see on the x ray but if you do a ct scan you will pick it up some uh, fracture mimics are very common you should know them because you may make mistakes and you may take those as fractures for example uh, these are called apophyses these are second uh, these are ossification centers which unify later and the tendons attach here so they look like fractures but they are not 
similarly there may be accessory bones like accessory navicular these are harris lines which are uh, unified growth plate uh, 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 so you you may find uh, these and you may uh, think that these are fractures but actually they are not so it is very important to examine the patient clinically before giving a verdict that you know this is a fracture if there is no tenderness the patient has no signs of a fracture then you have to rule these things and think that there may be normal variants as well